just gonna make sure. coming in. Alright. Should be good. Just gotta mute my setup on my end. Make sure everything's good. Mm. Oh, I'm excited. Just gonna mute some things so that I'm not just getting pop-ups on my um, Discord constantly. Probably be good. Hi, hey y'all. <laughs> nice. I know. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to get them out the microwave. But yeah, howdy. Uh, uh, Ken's coal. Or cast coil. Yeah, cast coil. Sand dolphin and Pitmon, of course. Glad that you're all here. Before we start uh, doing things proper, I guess, we're gonna try to visit someone. First, I think for all the science that we did, we should have a celebratory marshmallow. Alright, let's... Let's see here. Because my idea of who to visit, or because I was told that there's one person, kind of Easter eggy kind of deal, or, or one thing I've been thinking about, I've been able to do, but to visit them, or to my to do my idea, it has to be towards the end of like the loop, so yeah, I've gotta be taking a long nap. Aw, oh, I'm sorry that your tablet is having some issues with uh, Twitch, or I guess issues working overall. But yeah, I appreciate you watching all the same, but yeah, at the same time I get what you mean of wishing you could watch on bigger screen. But yeah, I am excited that, like, this is... Yeah, this this may be the last stream because like what else is there to explore? Well, other than the thing I'm gonna try at the uh ATP core and then um yeah, Dark Bramble. Just <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Ah uh, yeah, I I hate that that is an issue with technology nowadays, it's like, oh, is this update going to break my device? Or, like, like, that nonsense of planned, it's not even planned obsolescence, it's enforced op 
<laughs> obsolescence, you know? Oh, what is my fave planet in this game? Uh, they're also... Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to say Giant's Deep, to be honest. And... I think I'll wait five more in-game minutes to doze off, or to fast-forward to, before doing what I want to do, just to make sure I have enough time. Ooh, a Dark Bramble. Know what? Yeah, Dark Bramble's cool. I mean, it's terrifying, <laughs> but it's it's pretty amazing for uh, an anomaly in space. And I just love how bonkers it is to explore in there. It is really amazing. <laughs> Gabro helps to it, but oh, then again, Brittle Hollow is also amazing. But at the same time, it is bombarded by uh, asteroids. I don't know if asteroids is the right term, but like Brittle Hollow would probably be my first. If but Giant Steep is just amazing. Just yeah, oh, an hourglass winds are good. Yeah, it's a lava. <laughs> globules are just they just yeah let's go <laughs> oh but then who is also your favorite villager slash traveler um I kind of want to say right back, you know, they're, they're afraid of all this nonsense going on, but like, but their dedication to, um, uh, you know, research and whatnot. Oh no, I'm sorry that you, sorry to hear that your Twitch is lagging. Hopefully, clear up in a bit. What am I doing with my navigation? Also, I should try to not... Okay, I'm far enough away from that. Let's... I had to reload. <laughs> my bitrate should be doing pretty alright. But hopefully, the issue clears up though. Yup. Gotta love that big red giant. That? No, that's a, that's the wrong twin. That's absolutely not the twin I want to land on. Thank you. Yeah, the sun's always uh, pretty terrifying in this game. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, so 15 minutes in, everything's kind of exposed already. It's good to know. Kinda. I feel like I've just... Okay, I think I missed my main chance, but, like, what else? Let's... No, I don't think I waited too long. Because actually, if what I'm thinking is what I need to do, I just need to be there, set things up, the core, and then just wait. But I didn't want to wait, you know, like too long. And then again, I'm worried about the sun. Because, yeah.
Okay, I think I still have enough time. I just need to uh, be fast. Because, yeah, because of the ATP and what it creates, there's something I've been thinking about, but I kind of forgot about for a while just because it's like, oh, there's other things for me to do that are more, like, obvious. So, but there is a means of warping around in the ATP, and I need to explore it. Gotta go. Uh, but no, to pause real quick. Uh, send dolphin uh, to read from you. I know I already said, but imagine how violently the sun must be churning to be able to hear it from a planet. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Ooh, that's scary to think about, especially since uh, in real life the sun, like the speed with the speed of light, it's like eight minutes. Like the light that we see from the sun are like is eight minutes past. Or, you know, take. It took that light eight minutes to get to Earth. So imagine just, like, hearing that would be terrifying. And, oh yeah, the... The hourglass winds not being molten is pretty spectacular in itself. Alright, you. Wait, first I want to do this. Come on. Alright. Go. Alright, I think... Alright. All we really need to do is engage gravity. True. <laughs> oh no, sorry about the lag, but no, yeah. The then again, yeah, honestly, the uh, the hourglass twin should be just molten marbles, but maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> astrophysicist, but they are incredibly close to the sun. Then again, normally the sun isn't uh, this big, so. Uh, hopefully the light clears up for uh, whatever the hell is going to happen here in a bit. Also, I don't know, something tells me that before I beat this game, I had to come back here. Just because every single time I've, remor I've removed, removed this core, there's a music, there's a song that plays that's just incredibly powerful and feels it has a sense of purpose to it. Oh my god, exploring a, a cave of glass would be amazing. But also let's uh time travel. Even Arguably more than we've normally time traveled. Oh, I forgot to check my map. And I will. I'll. What? All right. I'll check my map and I'll be careful. Oh. Uh, I can't. Check my map. Yeah, most of the memories were blocked from sleeping. Also, I need. Okay. Ooh. Also, I blinked twice. Oh? Ooh. Oh. 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 
<laughs> oh. Um. Let's. Let's. Uh. Huh. Also, you can do it with a scout. Huh. Huh. And once you shoot... Oh, and once you shoot a copy of your scout, you're fucked. Because <laughs> you can't recall it either. Huh. Huh. Oh, hello. Huh. vibe here for a bit just because uh what <laughs> what <laughs> oh yeah let's review some logs oh boy there know what how how I guess where should I begin? Should I begin at the th the beginning? Or <laughs> I was planning to do an overview, but I'm kind of dumbfounded by this uh, result. Oh, oh boy. I honestly don't know <laughs> what, uh, am I facing the wrong way? I'm facing the wrong way. I bet I'm facing the wrong way. Ah. Ah, I'm in the way now. Think. All right, all right, Bidmon. Uh, how about you tell us what you think about the game thus far, and what you think the end goal might be? Ooh, no, that's a fun idea. And I'm just gonna go for a walk, I guess, while uh, chilling about this. But all right, so what I think of the game so far, of uh, just kind of like a review. In like a review sense, this game's amazing, and I am so glad that you suggested this game to me. It is just a phenomenal blast. It gives a great sense of exploration. Don't want to get sucked up. Yeah, it really is so thin. I First, but um, yeah, it's a great. Should not mess with that. We'll try and talk, but yeah, it's fantastic. It's it's very inspiring with you know just how it lays. It does so many amazing things in my mind with how you can explore, with how the loops work. And, you know, all the information you can find. You know, all, all the little neat little secrets. 
Like, that, I can easily imagine someone missing, like, uh, you know, like, not talking to Gabro and finding out about, you know, the meditation. Like, that seems like something a person could easily have just never done. And there's some other aspects to take into account that my mind is going to blank on. Uh, oh yes, the whole secret with the Nomai and the culture and trying to do, like, astral archaeology. Okay, and yeah, it needs to be lowered more before I can get to it. Actually, I'll here. Fuck, I forgot about the whole scout. Oh, I know. That's only if I duplicated the scouts. Um, what was I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, this game does a. It's. It invokes a sense of wonder and whimsy while also. You know, it has a really great grounding element with the Harthians and, like, you know, their spaceships are held together with metal, but also with, like, wood. Wood, and they have marshmallows and wine. And, you know, even firewood. And the fact that they can create oxygen by just planting trees. You know, it's... It has a lot of things that help drown... Uh, kind of grind it. Not grind it. What's the term I'm looking for? There's... Ground it, yes. To, like, the kind of what it wants to be, if that makes sense. Like, you know, it wants to be fantastical and charming and have a kind of blue collar fill with, you know, the uh, the Harthians and the Outer Wilds Ventures Corporation and how, you know, <laughs> they're a bunch of weirdo scientists and also the Harthians tend to explode themselves. And yeah, I'll wait. I think that's enough. All right. E ah. Yeah. Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> But yeah, you know, this game does have some really inspired design choices. And like, there's so many little touches that I love, like the Nomai and just the kind of aesthetics being a lot of like rounds, round shapes and, uh, you know, they have a lot of rectangular designs and whatnot. What? I mean, I walked right past them. The lag is real. Oh, sorry, you heard about that. Oh ho! I did walk right past them. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness! I just you know what this this feels very in character to just walk past. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Transcon. <laughs> no, oh, we'll wait a bit. Ah, look at you. Look at me. Ah. Ah. Hell yes. Now, I'm gonna <laughs> wait for a bit <laughs> to let uh, uh, Cascoil get back. Uh, yeah. Ah, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, we're so little. That's not... We're, yeah, we're kind of in between of... Pure baby mode and, like, adult. But yeah. You're... <laughs> no, it... I'm sorry they had to reload again, Cascoil. But I 
think only a bed raid should... Hmm. <laughs> Trust nobody, not even yourself. <laughs> but, let's... Let's go. Whoa. I hope it's not your internet. Though, I know that. <laughs> yes, I love all these options. Just, what the heck happened? This is the greatest day of my life. Are you me from the last loop? This got weird in a hurry. Ah! Just scream. Um. But yeah, no. Are you me from the last loop? I think so. I, I started this current loop by popping out of a white hole instead of the, uh, inside of the Ash Twin Project. I started the campfire like usual. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely not is definitely what created book two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if we don't? If you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop. If I don't, then... Guess we'll find out. I guess so. is a solid floor. Thank you. We oh, yeah, I do have the animation pause. I can turn that off. Uh, where is it? Text audio input would be? No. Where is it? Oh, wait. Really wish the tower outside was oxygenated. Yeah, that'd be nice. Ah! No, let's talk to you again. Ah, this is nuts. Sure, the two of us is great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know? What about that one? Are, are you talking about the day I? All right, this is the day I. What? No, I'm talking about the other one. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, now you got it. This was an incredible day. <laughs> that was an incredible day. But today is probably the next greatest day of our life after that one. think, uh, think it, think it's okay that <laughs> there's two of us? Well, we're talking to each other and nothing's exploded yet. That seems positive. Uh, <laughs> Kostin always says that means the date's going well. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's Slate's definition of a boring date. Makes sense, Goss Gossin and Slate never dated. <laughs> that and the whole mesh app with uh, Gossin's eyes. Oof, yeah. Oh yes, the eye thing. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yup. Uh-huh. Yeah, selfies. Um, oh yes, uh, for Pitman, but yeah. Uh, Rax has a fanfic plan for Harthian, who is in the same universe and uh, makes him trip itself. Huh, interesting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, yep, 
Yeah, duplicating uh, living beings probably wasn't what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ashwin project. I wonder if we have the same memories. I wonder if there being two of us screws something up. Well, we're talking to each other, nothing's pulling me up. Alright. Ah, maybe the universe is mine, the two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, an extra version of us is definitely better than if we created an, ex an extra anglerfish or something. Yeah. Agreed. We're charming and have fewer teeth. That probably counts for something. I love these. Oh, reminder, don't go to Dark Bramble while there are two of you, while two you are here. What? To what you'll see. Ah, what have we done? Jumping to Black Hole was a terrible idea. I needed to know what would happen. Okay, okay, I I'm calm. Because this is all now not actually being saved to your ship log. Why are we yelling? Ah, uh, because there's there's two of us. Uh, let's see, I think so. I remember all the time loops, including the last loop when I jumped through the black hole in here. What about you? Yeah, it's not huh, me too. Sounds like our memories diverged at the start of this loop. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Ah, if I don't, then where did you come from? That's a good point. I mean, I feel as real as ever, so I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination or anything like that. It's just what a figment, <laughs> a figment of my imagination would say. <laughs> I'm no expert, you, but you seem pretty real to me. Thanks. You seem real to me, too. I guess so. There's just two of us now. We, we are, we are the yell of the <laughs> well, That's a good question. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that was if you had the same memories. So. Ah, this is wild. Ah. Uh, Yeah, it's a pretty novel experience. We're talking to each other, nothing's split yet. Right? It's kind of nice. Ah, this is so great. Bonk. Okay, so this isn't like some media where touching a time duplicate makes uh, us explode. <laughs> if you go into black hole again, self basically only says, well, I guess we're stuck doing this forever now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, well, I'm probably not gonna do much this loop other than just a uh, vibe. be able to re-enter the black hole. Oh no. I'm so sorry, uh, Keskoil. Alright, y'all should keep an eye on self at the end times. It's nice that they added self and also gave them a good chunk of dialogue. Self, dude, they're very, they're incredibly chill. Uh, not 
I'll go through some of this uh, again. Because I probably missed some dialogue option. Uh, do you think we have the same memories? Good question, let's see. This is the greatest day of my life. Sure, two of us is great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know, what about that one? Oh, right. That one's probably still the greatest. <laughs> I know, right? But today's probably the next greatest day of our life after that one. Wait, can he read my mind? Definitely no. I just have the same memories as you. Except for this loop, I mean. I started this loop by popping out of a white hole to the Ashwood Project, and since in the loop before this one, I jumped into the black hole. Hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole uh, again at the end of this loop? Guess we'll find out. I guess so. And apparently, going Pinmon, self was added in the patch. Previously, there was a repelling field around the warp core. Aw, oh, that's... Dang. Hmm. Also, I'm sorry to hear, uh, Coil, that your internet seems to hate Twitch, but I... I know that experience. So, like that, I understand if you can't uh, keep watching because of that. But, you know, the... Uh, video on demand, VOD, archive, whatever you want to call it, will definitely still be up and I'll put it on uh, YouTube so that if you can't catch it before it gets deleted off Twitch, which is like 14 days or something, it'll still be on the internet somewhere for you to watch. Oh, okay, and now let me read up some more things Pinon was saying. Oh yeah, previously there was a repelling field around the warp core at the end of the loop. I did a personal exploration of that, so it's entirely possible the devs saw the logs since they lurked on the Reddit Discord. What days do you think the self talking about? Um, I know I could be a whole lot of mischief our character could have gone into. Hard to tell. I don't know, maybe they made out with someone. But uh, anyway, to keep reading. So when the patch notes added, removed a repelling field, winky face, we all scrambled to meet self. But yeah. Ah, this is amazing. Also, I love how this floor does not like having a scout um, on it. Just the two of us. If we can make it, if we try. Just the two of us. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> Alright, let's... Make it out without... Probably. You know what? Those two being a thing. Yeah, no, I, I'd believe it. Yeah. I <laughs> also, I love how that doesn't. That's that's funny to put it that way. But or I don't know. Maybe they got to some of the uh, sap line or something. I guess let's let's watch what on earth happens. Itself. Nope. Oh, I'm hearing some music. Weird music.
what? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's why you said don't visit Dark Bramble. Hey! <laughs> uh, we get kazoo ending. Again. Yeah, if you don't do anything that isn't re-entering the ATP black hole, you destroy space-time. Yep, because this is one of the few times you actually send physically something backwards into time, so you're altering the timeline, and if you make that not happen again, then the timeline just gets screwed over again. Irre irretrievably so. Ugh. The rest of the homies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Space time. Destroyed. Again. Love Kazoo Percent. Technically, I think, um, get to see Archaeologist GV. Finish up Dark Bramble. <gasps> you know what? Sure. Also, I found that interesting that the time that I did the, uh, yeah, I had the eclipse of the, uh, Quantum Moon. First time I ever saw that. A mind game, that is. Oh, yeah. Let's go Dark Bramble. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no, nothing. Absolutely nothing at all would have been saved to my, uh... To anything due to, uh, destroying space-time. Uh, the first goal in Dark Bramble will be... Yeah, I understand, uh, Kazcoil. I hope you have a good evening, though. Or the good rest of the evening, or day, whatever. Uh, depending on the time zone. You know how that goes. But, yeah. Thanks for watching as much as you could, though. But yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oof. All right. Everything's good. But yeah. Bye, Kazcoil. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Sun Dolphin, but yeah, it's time for the Dark Bramble. Late at night. Dark Brambling. Hopefully I won't crash into a planet again. Where is the comet? I shouldn't collide with the comet at all. I think. I sh I shouldn't collide with Comet. Okay, it's f okay. It's very far away. I will not collide with Comet. <sighs> but yeah, and unfortunately, uh, the Dark Bramble tri trip won't be uh, much more uh, relaxing with me going after the. Uh, what am I going after? What is your light to navigate by? Last time it was harmonica. Yep. This time it's gonna be the distress beacon. Because it should be in here. Uh huh. It 
it should be safe from uh, villainous fiends. I think. Because the, uh... <laughs> Alright, let me pause real quick. Okay, yeah, don't do anything scary. Well, that's that's a hope send, Dolphin. That looks like matured seed. Did it look like mature seed? Also, I'm wondering... Would that one be the bastard? Um, no, that's not the term I'm looking for. That's not the scientific term. The scientific term I'm looking for. No, that's that's another seed. Yeah, yes, that's the scientific term for an angler of uh, a gear. Yeah. Cause yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. But I don't want to have that out while I'm flying over to it. Just be careful. Mm, are you a gear? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Pidman, my dear. The anglerfish can't hear the inside of your ship. Oh, true. But, what I'm more worried about... Is that one moving? It's moving. That's the anglerfish. Ugh. Ha! Huh. But yeah, they can't hear inside of my ship, thankfully. Then again, when I first came here, or the second time I came here in earnest, and it turned off. What? It turned off. I know I can't see it. I thought that was an anglerfish, and I was about to be really angry. Just incredibly upset. I can't... hear it? Let me raise the volume. Which is probably a bad idea. Let me lower the volume. And then go for it. That's... Ugh. Seems to be pushing... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> what on earth was that? Is that just a log? That I've now sent flying around? Oh god. You can only hear the breathing when you're super close. True. It's an ice shard? Mmm. Don't like it. Please be closer. Oh, I saw some blue. Some ice. Is not at a node now. Let's see, can I get a clear shot at it? I don't think so. There's one easter egg, I'm... Oh, you're not gonna direct me towards... Oh. 
because it's in the red node. <sighs> Alright, are you moving? You don't appear to be moving. Are you bobbing about? You're bobbing about. Are you enemy spy? Aha, you are enemy spy. That said, if I remember uh, correctly, oh yes, um, uh, let me read from Pinlon real quick in chat. Uh, because it's in the red node, unmarked, and it shows an unmature seed that can only be shot. Oh, that you can only shoot a scout into. Then, you, when you do so, you get to see a room with dead humans and bramble branches reaching out. Reference to another Arna per, Perna game. Ah, okay. Interesting. But yeah, let me just. Make sure you didn't warp around in Dark Bramble or something. But yes, a coin to Feldspar. Those things are... They tend, they tend to be... What's the term I'm looking for? Um, sorry, I, I was trying to think, but then the distress beacon distracted me. They tend to be... Uh, What's the term? Not stationary, like isolation. They tend to like to be isolated. Oh, territorial. That's the term. Because, yeah. Wait. Son of a bitch. There's two of them. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. well, you won't find more than one in a node other than the red node. Well, slap my ass and call me wrong. Yeah, no. Uh, look, I thought that would... Because, you know, like, we had some... We had an NPC that told us, like, oh yeah, no, these things tend to be territorial. That's why they're in the clear. I wonder. Also, it feels like... Okay. That said, they are both kind of far away from each other? So maybe if I can find a good angle... As good as I can get. <laughs> um, I guess. Remember, here. Please go to the skate pod. You're making me anxious. <laughs> how long you're talking? <laughs> ah, sorry. I'm making myself anxious as well. But uh, yeah. Also, I don't want to just have the. Please don't bonk me. Please don't bonk me. Please don't bonk me. Please don't bonk me. Thank you. God, I hate that noise. Where is it? Ah, I think I see it. No, that's just another branch. There it is. And I don't hear breathing. <sighs> Alright, let's go down. I think I want to go up. I 
it doesn't matter much. As long as we're... Careful with their movements. Actually, I think I should have just gone under. Wait, no. This works. Also, I'm surprised that there's two, but I mean, I guess it did work in our advantage that there's two angler fish, but they stay on the other sides of the, uh, the other, the, they stay on the other sides of the, <laughs> of the extra dimensional, uh, just pause real quick to catch my breath. <laughs> they stay on the other side of the interdimensional uh, place because uh, they're not gay. some water before I start reading this. Mm -hmm. Sucka. Our escape pod crashed as we... Oh. What kind of voice should I do for a second? I forgot Sucka's gender just because it's like probably mentioned in like one of the many logs I've read over this game. Um, but our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held we've held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Eskal, Seca, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here, quickly. around so much. I am in... Like, theoretically, I could bonk things around. Well, no, it's kind of embedded, but... Wait, stop. Alright. Begin flight log. Escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally wounded. Emergency sequence activ activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching, escape pod 3. Alert, multiple uh, collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to, pods de uh, to pod detected. Warning, ne navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Gravity not detected, breathable air not detected, multiple life forms detected, potentially hostile. Verdict, do not exit pod. Yep. Din. Right. Oh, wow, this is a long one. Let me drink some more water. Then, uh, there is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it, but it is impossible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. 
I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already. Then, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone, and we will be lost. This call. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose... But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further the two beacons did. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone can hear our escape pod's distress signal. Oh. 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 Follow the lights, emergency escape hatch. Ah. Question. Should I get some more air before I go? No, I, I don't know how much time I have, but I, I feel like navigating this upside down is a bother. Especially because of this curve. Always. That's. I mean, theoretically. I could go with my ship, but. But, like. Like. I make more noise that way. And also, there may be some small things to read that I won't be able to. <coughs> Alright. Follow the lights. Try not to die. And I can't look up and down without turning my <laughs> whole head. Interesting. I thought the vessel would, That my yeah no I know the v the signals are dying but I was wondering if it'd be anything. Also I hear some noise. I don't know if my breathing or something else breathing. I hear my breathing. Here. Oh. Oh. Know what? If there's a place to be paranoid in this game, it's definitely the Dark Bramble. Did they... Options, uh, just to make sure I have something. Let me re enable that just <laughs> out of paranoia. <sighs> Zeka, to any who have come searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now we can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now. But the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single gnomite to fit through it. So our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. 
I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel, and yet still so far, is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon, we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside. At least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. <sighs> and taking a moment to take that in. Uh, Bidmon. If you've run out of time, you can save some time by marking the location. You know, my grave, a new ship log. I have it be the start of your travel for next loop. Ah. Good now. Yeah. I don't think any other Nomai had a recording. There's the vessel. There it is. Huh. Yep. That's what I thought. Oh, and yeah, that's why you'd want to visit here again. Because, yeah, this would help you navigate there. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I still have time in this. Oh god, I still have time. Oh, I thought the end times were gonna happen. I'm like, well, time to buckle up and do this later. But no, I've, I've got the time. I've got the time. Let's... Yep, make it back to the ship. If you make it back to your ship, you can make the trip yourself and then have the marker be the vessel for the next loop, yeah? Okay, I'm hearing the beginning of end time. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I could meditate to save time, but let's read... No, I can read the ship logs on the beginning of next loop. Mm. 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 Yeah, meditating would save time. But now let's check out the ship logs. Okay, pod three. No, my grave. <sighs> One of the three no, my escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. The survivors from escape pod three detected two distinct beacons from the vessel, as if it was, <laughs> as if it was in two locations at once. Yeah, they did. No, my grave. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed one of the two vessel beacons to a small, small dark bramble seed where they could go no further. And yeah, they could faintly you know, the beacon, the beacon, but they had no way to get through it. It would be completely gone. Yeah. The vessel. Yep. Let me just get off the computer real quick. I have enough time to be uh, obliterated. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. Ah, uh, oh boy. Alright, so... Beacon... Yeah, because... Yeah, I don't want to navigate through the, uh... Red Court... Without any, uh... Anything to guide me. Oh boy, you know what? I think we have enough time for a marshmallow. That was for, um... So, Solanum? That was for Solanum. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was for the homie. The lost homies. Um... Oh boy. My grave. Bad times. Um. I'm a bit stuffed up. This is it. I know visually how to check out if uh about to stumble upon a a okay at least I know which one it is Are you vibing okay you're vibing he thought Are you vibing You're chill. Are you vibing? I know you're vibing. You're jiggling. I see you. I appreciate that my marker can detect things that well. Not, um, I should probably not waste time doing this, but. I appreciate going from just going in. <laughs> Alright, let's. Let's go. I appreciate being a complete novice to now knowing how to uh, avoid being annihilated by big fish. By real big fish, some may say. The vessel should be your last ship log, yeah? No, it, it, it's cool send off, and I understand the feeling where it's like you're watching a stream and you're just kind of like, you're chilling and you're into it, but you're like, you, you just don't like know what to say because it's like, well, like, like, yep, yeah, y'all got this. <laughs> like, 
So, like, I, I understand. Alright, let's go. charging your phone as well. So I have one hand to type. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There are times where I'm like, oh, no, I wish I could lay on bed and just, uh, you know, watch a stream on my phone, but then I'm like, well, then I can't chat the peeps. Alright, so yeah, just skip pot three. But, uh, the, <laughs> that I is what's having a bad We just add a, a stream marker to <laughs> that ice was just having an incredibly bad time. Oh wait, no, the no my graves directly there. All right, actually, can I just fly straight to it? That would save me an awful bit of um. Hey. Hey. Hey, Ice. Get out of here. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is... Rude Ice, mate. Rude B. Uh. <laughs> if... Mm, for some reason, a part of me just wants to bonk into that ice. Apparently, it's gonna get bonked around anyway. Come on, I have places to go. Places to be. I'm just afraid of it, like, bonking me and sending me flying or something. Alright, so, lowered a bit. I'm gonna wait for that ice to lift it. Alright, let's fly straight ahead. Hopefully, I need only minor... Whew, minor... Calibration. All right, yeah, yeah. I love these check marks. Oh my goodness, this makes it so much easier. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah. Which I feel like I'm a bit too excited to visit the you know my grave, but. Like, got places to be. Unfortunately, um, all right, got my suit. I have a cat chilling with me. Hopefully. 
Alright, thankfully not that far away. Also, I hate... Ooh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be fun. I I love this stylistic choice of making uh, this red. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Way through. Oh, come on! Fuck off. 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 Can it follow me? Can it follow me? Did I leave? Mm, I am. I am. I am. I am upset. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. Uh, well, you know what? Technically, 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 this is still this still works for me. Technically, though. All right, yeah, this still works for me. I didn't know that leaving would send you all the way back out, but I guess... Let's go. <sighs> That's a waste of time, but yeah. Ugh. That's heartbreaking. I should have just left the ship, I think, and then hauled ass or something. Going fast into the node? Alright. I hear something angry with me. Too bad. was there. Can I even leave my ship without dying? Really? Really? Uh, is this one just a... Uh, is this one just a... Uh, wow, should I just meditate? <laughs> should I just... <laughs> They're just vibing. I thought they didn't like vibing each other. Uh, just try it. Just go for it. On foot. On jetpack. I mean... I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, do not use... Just walk. Out of their oxygen range. Do not use jetpack. I'm afraid that as soon as... Well, there's no gravity here. So I don't think I could walk. I mean, worse that ha happens, I get eaten, which is bad and <laughs> scary, but then again, roll. Yeah, there's no gravity. I'll just instantly use jetpack if I move. <sighs> this is dumb. I hate you. You stupid, stupid anglerfish. And you're upside down. I think. Yeah, you're upside down. Fuck you. Well, they don't hear the sound of my, uh... Oxygen. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. I- I'm... I think I'm stuck. Because I think my cockpit is still intact. Or the glass, I mean. Let's... 
should still be able to use Tiny Thrust. Um... Worst that happens, I get eaten. They got angry. What's up, assholes? You're having a time. Let's just snap. <laughs> let's just not, let's just snap. <laughs> How about fuck this? How about no? How about no? I thought they. Come on, game. You can't just have. Oh, okay. They're they're in their like nest. So them being less territorial, uh, territorial makes uh, <laughs> gun 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 gun. <laughs> Thank you, Sand Dolphin. Uh, my yeah, my idea exactly. I mean, I, I mean, I basically used my ship as a bullet accidentally because I didn't think it would just be vibing. It would just be chilling in the same place. I thought it would move. I, I, I wouldn't think that it would just I'm like. Oh no, I'm just gonna. I'm just a little. I'm just a little anglerfish. I'm just gonna. The chill in this entrance. Well, it was me, and it's like, shut up. No one likes you. You horrid, horrid beast. <sighs> Goodness. Though, we did get some interesting things that I'll need to try to remember to lip or highlight or whatever of just the ice bugging out and then the fish. Being weird. Oosh. Look at that crash into something, right? I don't think so. God, imagine if Timber Hearth just took me out somehow. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, no, this time I just need to go fast into the red node. That's... that's just it. I just need to go. And then, like, let go of the thrust. As soon as I enter in from where the No My Grave is. Yeah. One... <laughs> no fear. Yeah. One fear. I mean, yeah... Yeah. Yeah. Fuck these things. But yeah, like, I just need to make sure I'm lined up and then. Are you vibing? You're vibing. I hate that. You're vibing quite a bit. But, whatever. Let me just see if it's a clear shot. Okay. Not exactly a clear shot. Yeah, as long as my boosting's outside the red node, it should be fine. Okay. Uh, this kind of sucks, but as long as I'm more towards the edge of the bramble. I should be outside of the range of that asshole. Ah, I feel my <laughs> voice getting deeper. Alright. I get deeper, but yeah. Oof, that was... Ah, that, that sure was something. But yeah, gosh. <laughs> That was ah, that was it. Ooh. You know what? I was gonna accept. Like, what's that? That meme. Take an L. Yeah, I was gonna take the L of like going out, going backwards through the the seed. 
and then like I'm like okay I can get back in there I'm like no actually that isn't too bad not only do I have the, the check mark still but like ah, I you know it, it'll be easy but then just getting back in there and immediately just having to deal with like like a fish being right in my face that was that was mean that was incredibly mean can I just fly straight at it Looked kind of terrifying for a moment. I think the answer is yes. And you're both still, uh, fishies? Yeah, I don't trust like that. The other one's somewhere over there. Oh, yeah, you can do it from inside the ship as well. I keep forgetting that you can do that. Where's the other light? Dare hit me. I am. <clears throat> Don't you dare hit me, you ice. Okay, cool. It has shown me some respect, and it's not uh, kind of glitching out or doing something weird. So that's good. good angle. Oh yeah, no, that's... I'm trying to get precise controls. Hey! don't bonk into one of these assholes. I think my character just held their breath. Or it might have been breathing one of these clowns. Hi. Should be safe to move once I hit the eggs. I'll take your word for it. I think I see them coming in view. And I think I see... I kind of wish I had Chert's, uh, Chert, yeah, Chert's ship with uh, the three domes, or three cockpits, just so that I can see behind me a bit. And okay, I can kind of see what you mean, because I saw that light, but, like, kind of far away. No longer hearing the breathing. Also, I wish I had a gun. 
Just let me drink some water. <laughs> I'm sorry for pausing so much. It's just, uh. Well, for one, this is kind of stressful. In a fun way, but still stressful. Let me. Alright, yeah. I was safe to go there, it's just that I, I definitely heard some breathing. On the very edge of it. Is that another node? Yes, it is. When you're in the vessel, item A to... When you're in the vessel, item A into tab B, then check under the stairs? What? There are no anglers in the vessel's node. I appreciate that. When you're in the vessel, item A into tab B. What? I. I. Item A into tab B. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. I have as. More gorgeous, but when it wasn't destroyed. Bramble punctured out a fucking hole right into the vessel, sucking out Nomai who were just walking. Yeah. Goodness. Just wonder if I should explore up here first. Then again, I don't think there's any openings, but this looks similar to the escape pods. Item A into tab B. I still don't get if that's a reference to something. Oh, wow. This is... Oh. I think... I think I understand. I think I understand what this is for. I don't remember what the symbols were, except one looked like... an... an N? Or a Z? 
Wait, no, I think I messed that one up. Oh, yeah, when it's time. Alright. But yeah, I think I now understand what I need to do. Okay, when it's time, you'll get the symbols up in the corner. Okay. Do any Kenna, do any know my clans whose whose vessel can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay is mm, for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the glooming galaxy, we found the black rocks. The Black Rock suns are, fa are fairly stable, and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. And I have to... If you prefer to, if you prefer to continue exploring alone, you will know... <laughs> you know you will be on your own. We're making our... Ramai. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch you from our vessel. Has anyone heard from Nem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they've never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. This is unsettling. It reminds me of the old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. Oh. I remember hearing the story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans uh, searched the search, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. Hisop. Yeah, that's Clem. Hisop. That, that's no myth, friends. Eskal's clans existed, and their story was real. Rami. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our, our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clans for a long time. But in the end, none of, none of, uh, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Um, Hisop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. <laughs> Nem, my friend, we feared you were gone. <sighs> Not yet, we aren't. <sighs> Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found a trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded. It was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Nem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessel, any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of the potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. <sighs> oh, there are no my writings, and under the stairs to examine. Oh, okay. Phylex, this is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside. Inside itself. We... We're abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans or spaceflight cap uh, capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel's dying. We need immediate assistance. That's the end of that. Under the stairs, you say. Also, I should head back to my ship. 
and under the stairs. to the window. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. Kind of like, ah. Phylix. I'm recording now. I, I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the, ve the signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. <sighs> this is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskal, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell other another clan where we're going? We can send a message upon, arrival, upon, upon our arrival. This, is extra, this extraordinary signal appeared suddenly and may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this in, incredible. Focus, for, uh, focus on preparing for the warp instead. Uh, I understand. Anoya, this is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates. The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump afterward. We'll need time for, to recharge the core. I'm sorry for my voice. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Um, no, uh, power will need time to recharge the core. Uh, that shouldn't create a problem. Provided we arrive at or near the signal source, everyone, we're ready to warp. And... The signal. the kind of triple spiral triple spiral going on there fun fact what's a fun fact Oh, the broken warp core. If you put it down, you can't pick it up again. But if you remove the ATP, uh, the ATP core, come here, get the broken core, and place it in the ATP. Huh. That sounds like a lot of work. But interesting, though. I'll put it the loop system works again. Really? Huh. Huh. So we'll still accept the core. Interesting. Also... Huh. Log. Will do. I found the derelict Know My Vessel deep within the Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three cylinder pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Know My tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system was broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Wait. No. Nomai grave. Okay, no, that's the one I just have. 
Yeah. Let's check in with our astronauts. All right. Actually, uh, actually, you don't mind if I take a small, like five-ish minute break to go use the restroom before I uh, do the final loop? I guess or the final two loops. I don't know. Well, I definitely feel like ending it here, but feel like uh, taking a small break wouldn't it be a bad idea. But uh, yeah, just want to check in with y'all before I go do that. Meanwhile, hit a cat. <laughs> All right, I'll be back.
Hello. I <laughs> sorry for that small break there, but I had to go blow the nose, get some more water, etc., etc. But yeah, this is. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, check in on our, on our astronauts. Um, can I just head back out? Would that take me back out? I mean... Um... I... Alright. Let's see if I can talk to peeps. What? That sh I thought exiting the node would exit the bramble. Is this not a true node? Okay, the ship acts differently. Alright, if you say so. Hey. Here we are. Uh, no. Wow, we've made some discoveries. Uh. Who can we meet in enough time? I mean, I want to talk to everyone. I mean, I can drive to talk to everyone. But, um. Yeah, Gabriel first. Just because of. There's a close. Alright. That's about. Alright. Ah. Gabriel, my friend. Discoveries have been made about reality. Well, if, well, if it is my time, buddy. Oh, wait, no. What was the voice I did for Gamera? Well, if it isn't my time, no. Still. Well, if it isn't my time, buddy, how space treating you this loop? Oh boy, I found something. Nice, nice, nice. What you got for me? What happened to the orbital probe cannon? Well, the cannon break apart at the start of the loop. By each time loop, for real? Did you figure out why? Too much power, huh? It's kind of scary how much the sound looks something Slate and Feldspar would do. Pretty surprised no Mike built something they actually, that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word. Oh, wait, no, I thought I said this word before. Still successfully firing at the beginning of each loop, yeah. Uh, where is your ship, actually? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet, somewhere. I mean, unless Cyclone came by and tossed it in space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Well, I'm gonna find out how, uh, you don't break your legs. That'll be fun. <laughs> you, you okay blowing out water?
are you going to do out here? Well, what are any of us going to do it out here? Really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring the service system, same as you. <sighs> okay. It's usually peaceful and quiet. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts up my little island paradise, clean out the water. Then, less peaceful. Alright. So, nice, nice. What you got for me? And it's always time to No, I think I've talked about all this. And a quantum bomb. Oh, yeah. The one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun night. Pretty fun, right? Works out to a good 24 poems. I'm um, done exploring. I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of uh, creature sculpture that just, like, shows up behind you while, you're <laughs> while your back is turned and scares the daylights out of you. Alright, yeah. Oh, hey, Chip. Why do you still exist? Well, it existed. Alright, but... Yeah. God. You know what? Shout out... Uh, to the developers. For putting the quality of life stuff of being able to just track the vessel. That is... So good. Just so incredibly good. That you can do that. Because, yeah, I think with one more loop, I can track down all the, uh, the Nomai. Or not Nomai. Excuse me for a second. Track down all the, uh, astronauts and, uh, talk to them for a bit. First, celebratory marshmallow. I said celebratory marshmallow. You have anything to say? Ah, <laughs> uh, the sun's gonna go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observ oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit on that. Between you and me, I'm gloss over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfell's domain. Me, I'm here on the rock for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Alright. Uh, I should probably still get my suit to quickly move around. But then just talk to some peeps. I'm not sure what the trigger is, but there is a malformed... There is a malformed thing with Slate there. You're meant to talk about trying to escape. Oh, you're meant to try to talk about escape, but it's triggered to the wrong death. Oh. No, oh, the the sun is going to go supernova. By the way, oh no, okay. Ah, weird. Fly a model ship. Hey, like a. Oh, hey, it's you. Uh. All right. Uh, Oh, okay, so only the astronauts have new dialogue? Alright then. No, this. I appreciate that this is still mostly a blind playthrough, but that does help. Which is a shame. I was hoping um, Pal may have some new dialogue or something. But it makes sense that not, you know, everyone gets new dialogue. And also, Bomb here. Uh. Still mark that. Oh wait, talking to the astronauts would also mean going to Feldspar, which isn't like a bad thing. I like going to Feldspar, but uh, wait, astronauts, where is the moon? Oh, 
Oh, that's a quantum moon. Not that I don't like the quantum moon, but it's just, uh... No. Oh, okay, and to read from Binron's comment, Slate, yeah. Yeah, I'd stick to exploring our solar system, if I were you. As much as I hate to admit it, our ships aren't deep space worthy anyway. Or, er, deep space worthy. Hold up. You miss Ruby... Ruby's line. Oh, Ruby. Oh, okay, let me reread that then. Ruby. Er, protagonist, player character, etc. Ah, did you know? It's just an endless void outside. <laughs> ah. ah, did you know it's a, just an endless void outside of our solar system? It's like, yeah, I'd stick to exploring our solar system if I were you. As much as I hate to admit it, our ships aren't deep space worthy. Yeah. And yeah. This is the Alpha ship, if I remember correctly. Still really cute. Very Jules Verne. That's the, haha, <laughs> the, the developer's logo, I can tell from here. Which is really funny, honestly. Let's go with Thampa. Astronaut. Let's not crash our ship onto Thampa. Hey, that ball. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground, uh, ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. <sighs> Does Esker count as an astronaut? I mean, I would count them as the astronaut, but like, uh, don't the other travelers come by? Uh, the Luna Outpost solved more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly just kept as a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, Shirt comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro. And you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Aw, you don't have any... Aw, you don't have the option to share any new info with Esker. Damn. Don't go, uh, I mean, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, was that you whistling? Well, probably. Or, actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You, yeah, you can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for this is the uh, North Pole. Great reception. North Pole's marked in red on your uh, mini-map, but the Alter Hawk is pretty small moon, really. Just go north. Can't miss it. <sighs> Talk to you later. Alright, so that bot does account. Um to Mars. Thankfully, I only have to worry about Emperor Twin having uh, a traveler on it. I'm still pissed off at the time that I was like, you know what, I'll just go back to the, the node with the vessel on it. It'll be, it'll be fine. And then... Just a fish there, ready to commit violence upon me, and it's just like... That was just so incredibly hateful. Just so <laughs> incredibly hateful <laughs> that they're just waiting to ambush me. Fuck anglers. And it's like, it's not really the fault of the developers, but... I mean, they did stuff of a lot of anglers in one spot. And, you know, it's a cool deal. But I just kind of wish that they would be more t uh, t ter t ter <laughs> territorial or something, instead of just both being weird. Hey, Jert. Goodness. Uh, 
goodness, it's you. Uh, hello, I take it this is your first your first launch went well then. Welcome to the R Lost Winds. Mine's said now. I have a question for you. Tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, I found I found something. Please do tell. I found no my writing about the quantum moon and the sun station. The universe is dying. Oh, um, let's start top to bottom, I guess. I found no. I think if. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, I found your notes about the Alterox main creator. How did you? I hope I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant steep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, there's no such planet now. In its place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Ultra Rock, which I believe is the, how its biggest crater was formed. Alright. Found something. Know my writing about a hidden planet. How fascinating! I, it might interest, interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely possible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would just have to be incredibly far out there, rather than Harthian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The further you go, the less you know. As such, it's within our realm possibility such a planet exists. Quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it just quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to you. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps it takes a... If I take a closer look at the star charts. Is that... Is that what's in orbit around the sun, then, do you think? The sun station? Quite clever, the Nomad to devise a way to set the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct, at hot inside, I can only imagine. I wonder how they're able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass winds, when the slightest trip would would have meant a fire or death. Oh, they have warp pads. Um, I found modern Nomai transmissions saying the universe is dying. You, you, you what? I, I don't, um, what? You mean to say that there are modern Nomai out there in other parts of space and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing, is dying? Currently. Right. Now. If, if that's true, how, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernovae were there, but, but I, I've been studying the signs for, well, but it doesn't matter if oh, I'm, I'm very sorry, but I had to look over my charts. I uh, 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 hope you hope you don't mind. Nah, nah. Sorry, I just had to traumatize you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let me just almost kill myself. Let me just almost die. Let's see here, Timberth, Brittle Hollow. Right back, big bonk. Wait, where's... Where's Brittle Hollow? Big bonk. <laughs> that that was. <laughs> Expert piloting. <sighs> yep, right back to Feldspar. Let's 
let's see here. The shortcut is on the north pole, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, technically, I could also get in there from here. I mean... Um, wait, no. Let's do the North Pole. Just because I am more assured of that surviving. And I'd like to do this in as... Oh, hey. Um... The holes in the planet are incredibly useful. Right back. Okay, I could have just landed over there. Alright, I wasn't sure where to point myself at. But let's go. Let's go. Let's. I keep being really silly. to traumatize all our friends talking about how the world's gonna end la da 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 well not the world I mean existence I mean and it's not even my fault this time which is the worst right back oh you uh, oh you launched that that's great good job you. Oh, wow, I, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Uh, well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow. Probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. I, I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Of course, anything you want. I learned something. Okay. I talked about this. Okay, some of these. Oh, boy. I, I feel like I should probably... I've talked about the Hanging City and Sunless City. Uh, okay, let's, um, okay, I found the vessel, I feel like I haven't said this one yet, uh, you, you did, that, that's incredible, uh, g congratulations, uh, that means you were really, they really wore from far outside our solar system, <laughs> yes, I knew it, but, that creates so many more new questions. If they didn't come from our solar system, where did they come from? And and uh, are they from our galaxy or somewhere even further? What were their lives like before they came here, and why did they come here? Hey, I, I may not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad I came out here to see the know my artifacts for myself. And uh, thanks for telling me about the vessel, I mean. Oh, cool. It's all the old settlement. I I definitely talked about this one before. Hanging City. Sunless City. On Pilgrimage? Yes, I talked about that one. He com uh, They compare it to the uh, Harthian coming of age right of drinking like the the good sap wine. That's really hard on you. Um, I went to the Comet and... Oh, wow, so, like, so that's how the Nomai died? Oh, that's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but, uh, still. Star stars above, it's lucky we, we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet had, had it killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But, I guess if I had, hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I never would have left Timber Hearth and came out here, so, or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, uh, space is terrifying, but, you know, it, it has its moments. Okay, I think I've read that one before, but it's... I like right back. Um, I talked to... I talked to a living asterisk nomai. I found the vessel as Defo knew. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh boy. Ah, that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though, but please stop yelling. Uh, what? On the Quantum Moon, he said. Uh, th that's sort of... What? That's a sort of living Nomai on the Quantum Moon? Well, wh why didn't he say so? Oh, wow, wow. This, uh, this is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds. Outer Wild Adventures. I, I can't believe he talked to an actual Nomai. Great. So I just had to go back into space, fly to the Quantum Moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that, that that's not so, so, so bad. That, that's... that's Probably doable. Ah, more spam. I see. Damn. Ugh. What a bother. Oh well. I think that was it. Cause I done. Yeah. Old settlement. Best. Uh. Brittle. Yeah. Feldspar. Oh yeah, Feldspar. See you later. And I don't traumatize you. You're lucky. <laughs> right back. I'm sorry, sure that I traumatized you. Oh no. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah. No, there's just a big enough hole that I can just leave. I'm very good at this. Um, I should have put. The um, Feldspar. Oh, technically the same place. Dark Bramble. Let me just make sure I won't fly into the goddamn sun. What? Okay. Let me abort autopilot to just make sure absolutely I won't go and do the goddamn sun. Right, well, that's doing that. Let me... Because, um... Well... Technically, I can just get to it using, uh... traditional means. And make it a whole lot easier, but I mean, well, I don't have the the thing. So, wait, yeah, no, it would make more sense to to do that. All right, so because of poor planning. Oh, the, 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 the core. Oh, I know I have the, 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 yeah, I don't have the, the, the right core with me. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I forgot to grab it. I don't know how much time I have left. Yeah. Here. So yeah, this is unfortunately the penultimate one because I forgot to go grab a very important item. Before uh, heading here. Because <laughs> I knew I, I was like, oh, I'm for I feel like I'm forgetting something. As soon as I was going to Dark Bramble. But, to be fair, 
like that happens. Sometimes you just want yourself. That thing's... Sometimes you smoosh the bramble surface <laughs> near you, yeah. Technically, it's not that big of an issue, it's just like, uh... You're... vibing on tr Okay. I don't think you're vibing. I think you maybe are. Hard to tell. You seem to be the closest. Technically, that one's closest. Um, that one seems to have fewer. Um, actually, uh, okay, that one's more of a clean shot. Oh, that's eight hundred. I. Th Oh, that's... six. Alright, let's just launch ourselves at that one. I really do... take my time in the bramble? Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, also, this is unfortunately the penultimate loop, just because I forgot to grab the fucking core. <laughs> like, I remember a few minutes ago, I heard, like, something. I was like, oh. That's where I need to be. And should be safe here. I think. Right. Yeah. Alright, this should be safe, so I'll just accelerate a bit faster. But also, you know, to be fair, I do take my time in the core, or not in the core, in the bramble, because, like, bramble's weird. And it helps me just keep myself organized. And like... And, uh... Focus, if that's the term I'm looking for the most. Also, I love the little... Chevrons on their helmet. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry, now I just imagined the Crash Bandicoot, whoa. Where'd he come from? Uh, no one's coming here? Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Ha, <laughs> good for you. Uh, let me guess. Anglerfish. <laughs> you got me. Got me in one. Kind of hard not to, once you've seen uh, one of those anglerfish up close and personal like. Well, take, take a load off and refill your oxygen tank, Angelin. There's plenty of fire to go around. Anything you wanted? Uh... Alright, I found something. I went to the core. Oh yeah, I went to the core with Giant's Deep. <laughs> ah, so you figured out the old tornado trick, did you? Good work. I found the last bit out by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, hey? Hornfell's <laughs> very handsome. 
would have my very handsome head if they knew I've been riding the cyclones again. <laughs> ship is fragile like it, it can break you can't subject it to extreme conditions huh <laughs> not like I was flying that thing in the Sun now was I and the jellyfish you figure those out too Ashlyn I tell you what you've done real well for yourself you're real you're a fine astronaut sure but you know you but you might just become a pilot yet Orville <laughs> the bit bonds gone uh, Text, chat, brain. Um, Armfield is like, this is what this is what our little scout is for. I made posters and everything. Well, yeah, Hornfield did make like infographics, like infographs and everything about the little scout. But <laughs> hey, have to pull up marshmallow and stick. Uh, I found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. Ha! So the whole thing's still there. In it is it? That's where I first camped out. <laughs> After the crash, you know, it was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of species that try to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, found something. Okay. Is that it? Nap make our last loop count? Yeah, because I've found this, I've done that, yeah. I don't know how much time I have left, but... Um... Yeah! Let's... Is time an issue? Um... I am going on a bit longer than I normally do. Yeah, same here. I thought I'd get to the ending time, but I kind of meandered a bit. But then again, it would take... I legit think it would just take one more loop. And we can get to the ending. Let me drink some water. for the ending because the only thing I think would take the most uh, the most time wait I... did it crash down here I was about to say the only thing that takes time uh, would be no, actually, let me doze off for a bit. Let's see, because I'm trying to remember how much time do we need to be able to access the core? Because that's... Like, I can do this a bit faster if I can get to the core, but I forget how much time we need. I think maybe five minutes. Maybe four and a half. Fly up there. That might be enough time. Cause I don't think it takes too much time to access the uh, the core. Probably for this very reason. But yeah, I think we can get to it. And. Let's stop. What? Wrong. Wrong button. Wrong. 
wrong. Let me up. No, I keep <laughs> I keep pressing those. No. I wanted a marshmallow, but we'll have time for marshmallows, I guess, later. After we we save Well, we're not saving the day. But uh it's always time for mar for marshmallows, yes. Um Yeah. I'm marking that. Cause God God does that so much. Um Ash twin. Are you going in front of the sun or not? Okay, you're going behind the sun. What? Uh. Oh, me and my piloting skills. Let's not fly into the sun. Let's just get a nice, uh, grazing. Not grazing. Um, browning. Yeah, let's just nice browning on a, a surface of our ship. Hey, Quantum Moon. Not now, Quantum Moon. I have important business to take care of. Let's see if that's the sun. Ah. Okay, so about five minutes was a good estimate. Accidentally trying to go to sleep, uh, like three times. Or, I think it was like twice. Okay, it's like twice, honestly, but. Uh. What? No! 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 For real? What? I guess I should have waited a split second longer. Start over. Yeah. Yeah, no, let's let's start over. Let's just take a nap here and start over. Because I want to get this over with, because it would feel silly to do a, another stream. That would just be like... Half an hour. <laughs> oh, I oh know. But understandable though. Oh just something goes wrong. Time to nap. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I having a marshmallow pre our plan will work. Doze off for like four minutes. That should be plenty. Thing, I am still incredibly upset because I'm like, okay, we'll do this quickly. We'll kick ass, take names, uh, beat out of wilds, because like the ending is so close. We now know what we need to do. It's just timing, timing puzzles, and also navigating the dark bramble. But then again, we have the. Uh, we can, uh, mark the location of the vessel, so we can just, like, head there. And that alone saves us so much- oh my- that is such a, a godsend. I- I appreciate the, uh, the developers, you know, respecting people's time like that. Of just, you don't have to go 
do the whole run around of marking it with your scout and then um, Yeah, it, it's just, it's good, of you not having to do so much run around. And, huh, no way. Had to do some maneuvers. Okay, it's still a little bit too full, but... Better than the alternative. Or not better than the alternative. It's just. But it, it is what it is. Huh. Actually, with how fast this is sinking, I may be able to get the. First loop? Maybe. I would have to... Give me a heads up in case I actually need to book it. Well, actually, let me be smart about this. I can just watch. I can also not launch myself into space. That'd be also incredibly uh, good. Hey, Quantum Moon. Bye, Quantum Moon. Okay, yeah, I think by the second time comes around. But. I wish I could save state or something. <laughs> I am I'm still upset of the time we lost with that. So close, I just need to be a little bit more careful. Just a tiny bit more careful. <sighs> just stay at the very back of this and then just wait for it to go a bit and then run. And it should be going on real soon. <sighs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right. You, get going.
Alright. And now this music finally makes sense. <laughs> I've always been wondering, out of all the times I've taken the core with me, it just... This music, this urgency, it never made sense. Like, this is important, and I need to do this. When? But, now we know. We're going to end this. Just wanting to. Cause I need. <sighs> I know it's the red node, but I'm just probably vibing. <sighs> I need to be able to enter it and have enough room to just gun it. Because, yeah, this is the only way I can do this. <sighs> I don't hear any breathing. Wait. I feel like there's some slowdown when I do that, but whatever. You, you, I hate you fuckers. Let's go. Just, I wish I had more uh, room to accelerate. always feel <laughs> I wish I would get to the center closer. I still hear breathing. hear some breathing, but I think I should be safe. One to know. It's a clear shot, baby. I hope I don't kiss the bramble on the way there. But alright. Alright. We, we have a job to do. In case I need more.
point. Alright. Coordinates. Weird. Oh. Wait. Uh. What? Oh, thank you. Uh, hourglass. Then a weird end. <sighs> My eyes keep going to the chat. find it. Big orange in the sky. I cannot get to it. I mean, I've already heard that's the... Yep. Then I have no time to lose. Because I've already heard the uh, combined signal from everyone. Ah, I, f I hate this because I want to explore, but I feel so pressured because the loop won't loop. Um. Thing the eye, it's amazing. There's no time, there's no time limit. The game saved when it warped to that. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. I'm hearing some sort of noise. Unable to pinpoint location. Fair. Sure that's our solar system? Because I remember being outside of the uh, solar system, being able to hear the out Outer Wilds Adventures. It is the closest sun. But they're just a supernova incredibly far away. Weird. Uh, 
Um, not a while. It's... I'd expect to hear it because that's that's definitely our system. Like I definitely believe you. Just weird that's not popping up. trees. Now able to obs observe it a bit. I'm not kind of disappointed that I can't hear the Outer Wild Adventure from out here. Oh, those guys. A small chunk. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it just looks like a small chunk taken out of it. Oh yeah, welcome to Reed Pinmon. We're on the quantum planet now in a quantum storm. And then finally, welcome to the place where the quantum moon came from. And yeah, no, this, it makes sense. It matches what's on the uh, south pole. The quantum moon. The crater is what the quantum moon... This crater is what the quantum moon is. Yeah. Just a chunk of the eye. Pulled by the gravity of that above you. Very far away. Wait, okay. I get this. For a second, I was picking up a seg signal, which I'm guessing was the quantum moon. This is why you always appear. Oh, wow. Let's go. A part of me, the, the gamer part of me, wants to just keep the the uh, signal scope out to scan the signal. <laughs> oh, let's go. No point in that. Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to the efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. I 
I'm afraid that she would out a scout. There's no text here. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bearing with it a deadly substance we call we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar si the, the, the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Huh. Is that a uh, core? Yeah, that's a uh, yeah, probably the core. That's part of that. The grouty thing's gone. Oh, that's disintegrated. Of all the life forms who will perish in the up oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the angler fish the least. <laughs> At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and exploded in a violent supernova. Oh, wow. And from Pinmon, if you hadn't finished the interloper, we never figured out how they died. Huh. Oh, I didn't check the pla uh, the plaque by Outer Wilds Venture. The OG members. Outer Wilds Venture was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slate, and Hornfels to explore our solar system at the end of the universe. So it's at the end of the universe. I was about to walk in there. Good thing I had uh, the impulse control not to. You can walk outside? Okay. I mean, uh, a lot. Potentially. A lot. It. It just... sends me... Okay. You no, know I I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, what? No, I'm good. Are there any other plaques here? Yeah. Supernova. That's gone. The orbs are gone. What gets me the most is that there's no longer text here. Make it a cat. Sorry, there's a cat next to me that made a weird noise. But yeah, let's continue upwards. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in the image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image just covers a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. This is odd. According to my redshift calculation, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? And... Yeah, you're right. There's no need for the translator anymore. But still, it... Feels weird. And now, let me drink some more water. Let's observe the universe.
Gamer's Fire. It sure is. I still have this. Yeah. Are these lights? What? Flashlight ain't working. There. These are galaxies? These are galax- Oh my goodness. I'll look up close to one. <gasps> no! These are galaxies. Are my homies anywhere? Shout out to my homies. Please. <laughs> more frequencies anymore. No galaxies. No language. Oh, that's terrifying. Of everything in this world, what is left? Or, er, this world. This universe. <laughs> Who is there to observe? That was... Ruby. Yep. The only thing left is the observer, and it became a tree. Became a campfire. Like campfire. I've been training for this. Watch as I somehow mess up. Always time for mellows. Gotta eat some marshmallows for my homies. Gotta make sure I don't burn marshmallows for my homies. What does a campfire mean in this game? It means many things. A place of rest. A signal of home. Hearth. It's where uh, an astronaut has laid a little claim of... Which, honestly, it's really touching. That instead of leaving flags everywhere, the Arthians, the most, their biggest signifier. <laughs> their biggest signifier of their presence is a campfire. Food. Trees. <laughs> Just only little additions. Hi, Esker. Do you hear music?
I think. All right. Campfires mean stories. Yeah. Still there. <laughs> it's um. Uh, it, it, it's not quite the time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need uh, you know, everyone. Uh, no rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. Uh, aren't you forgetting someone? Yeah, that's an instrument I heard before. I'm kind of wondering. But it's on the other... Uh, should I <laughs> go for it? <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, they're all pointing up. Huh. Go for it, dear. about all my friends. All five work together to turn into a, a shuttle. Please go into the shuttle. Okay. <gasps> Solanum. Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Oh, if you've never met her, she would not be here? Oh my goodness. I would say a lot arrive. I'll believe 
will be ready for the next step. I'm glad he remembered me. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. Hate you. Yeah. Jellyfish. Yeah. So tiny. Hatchlin! <laughs> Hatchlin, you found me. Uh, Ness out company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. I didn't expect this to go on as long as it did, but I mean, I'm glad we're finishing this. Where's your drums? Nature. The stars were beautiful. <laughs> oh, the stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our stars is what ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you gather everybody. All that's left is Gabbro. And also, uh, not anymore. The quiet shade. Cross old bark. In a different in the ancient glade. It's always dark. Bro, you old dog. Oh, what do you say, buddy? Ready to start the music? Yes. <laughs> uh, this should be cool. Oh, what do you... I keep forgetting the voices. Oh, what do you say? Oh, what do you say, then? Should I get on the old harmonica? Yep. Haha, <laughs> here goes nothing. Here goes everything. I can't wait to play with this whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Okay, I won't let you down. Shall I begin? Shall I begin? Yes. Well then, here I go. Should I begin? Yeah. Okay. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes, the song is due to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. Hello, your keyboard staff. Should I begin? Should, should I begin? Yeah, you, you got it. I'll do my best. learned a lot by the, by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's, uh, you know, that that's okay. It never really gone completely. The future is always built in the past, even if we don't get to see it. Still, uh, it's time for something new now. 
uh, even if it's over now. I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. Wow, uh, how long has that thing been since I got to make music? Oh, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around Campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. I'm glad Esker is part of this. Um, you cut it a little, you cut it a little close, don't you think? <laughs> well, it worked out all right in the end, I suppose. But I hope there are besties in the next one. Uh, I don't. I tell you what, this has been really fun, and I got to like help make it something pretty cool. So I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped to smell the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we reached the end of our journey. Uh, all that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Connection with scout lost. Shoot your scout in the forest right here. I it's I have lost that opportunity. It's already It's our it's already out there. Let's enter the new universe. might have been its own session word <laughs> of stream, but oh well. Thank you so much, Vidmon, for introducing this game to me. Thank you, dear. few annoying uh, timing puzzles with the interloper. <laughs> Honestly, this game was 
just fantastic at every turn. And just the ending. <sighs> With the mute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goodness. I wonder... The music just adds so much to this. Created with unity. What? That's wild. <sighs> but yeah, that makes sense, but... Goodness. Yeah, I know. I wonder how it is to play this game. If... You know... You're uh, hard of hearing... Or uh, deaf... Oh, what? There's a vinyl? <laughs> There's a Oh, that, that must sound amazing. Goodness. I'm so happy I played this game. I guess, god, the, the combination of the music and the gameplay and just... It, it feels weird to compare the two. But... I haven't, like, felt this way, you know, like... It feels weird to compare the two, but... The only other game that I could think of that has the music so... Intimately woven, like, you know, such an intimate weave between the, you know, the, the narrative and the game and its score is, you know, odd enough, like, Undertale, that it has this much built into it. And especially with, uh, the motifs, if I, am I pronouncing that right? Or hopefully right enough that people know what I mean. Especially of just the, uh, Outer Wilds Ventures theme. Bread Lounge Pizza. I wish I could give more co- what? Oh. friends yeah thank you Anna per interactive and Mobius oh my goodness <laughs> sorry my voice is a bit soft but yeah I, I I almost teared up during this ending, and it's hard to want to say more. But God, it's always hard to end a stream, especially after that. But um, oof, <laughs> that was fantastic, and I adore this.
Yeah, it's... <laughs> gorgeous thing to say about life. And... Looking at wonder at the universe. <laughs> ah, this. Yeah, I should end the stream soon, but um, Christ, <sighs> this feels weird. Like I've been playing this for so long that, like, oh, there's. I mean, I could go for achievements or speed runs, but like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna stream this weekly. For allergies, and maybe sometime I'll come back to it. Try my hand at attempting a speed run. I don't know, <laughs> but <sighs> that said, um, <sighs> sorry, my brain's kind of fried. <laughs> but yes, I yeah, yeah. I think Undertale is. A s similar sort of vibes can kind of fit, yeah. 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 But anyway, um, yeah, I'm. Even though I'm done with this game, I'm. I still get a stream weekly, usually around 8 to 10 p.m. EST or EDT, whatever daylight saving time it is. But, um, damn, I, <laughs> I guess it's also hard to try to finish this off because I'm like, oh, I, I was thinking earlier today, like, oh, I'll announce what kind of games I'm thinking of streaming next, but, like, uh, God, it's kind of hard to top this on the top of my head. Um, but that said, one game I have been looking forward to go back to playing, I played earlier on, on this uh, channel was... Prey 2017, and I'm still interested in that game, and it has some very interesting things to say, but it's not as heartfelt or touching as this, this though, <laughs> but it still has some interesting things to say, and I still want to play it, but yeah, at some point I need to start streaming more on other uh, days as well, but goddamn. I'm still blown away by this, but thank you all for watching. It means a lot to me. And fuck, <laughs> like, sorry, I'm still like bewildered. That the swelling of just joy, just. <sighs> but yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks, damn dude. But yeah. I guess I'll see y'all next week, probably with Prey, and I'll probably start streaming, trying to stream at least a bit more games as well, but, damn, yeah, it's, it's gotta be hard to top this, though. At least for a while. Hopefully for a while. Hopefully there's more games that are this good. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair hope, but, yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Ciao.